What is up, Star Wars fans? This is Garth Watts, and in this video, um, I want to review Andor Chapter 9. But before I get started, as you can see, I made a post on in my YouTube community. I probably already addressed this in my one of my shorts, but um, I met with a famous YouTuber, Daydrian Harding. It was amazing. Um, I got some video footage of Daydrian Harding. Um, I might share on my other channel, Watts TV. So I might put that on there. I'll link Watts TV in the description down below so you can check that out too. Um, also check out uh, also check out Watts movie reviews. I haven't had any post on there other than the two posts from this channel, but eventually I'm going to be posting videos on there talking about other movies besides Star Wars because some of you guys recommended that to me that you want to see some you want me you want to see me talk about a generation of movies and not just Star Wars, which I can understand that. So I created a, another channel just for that. But anyway, enough of the enough of the jibber jabber. Let's get on to enough of, uh, enough of the rambling. But let's get on to the let's get on to the t topic. Like there wasn't really much going on. I mean, the episode was good, but I liked the last episode better of when Andor is in prison. But it does. There is a lot of build up in there. A lot of character build up between Andy Serkis's character and Cassie and Andor. And, um, at the ending, like, th th they're gonna, at the ending, they're, they're gonna start figuring out a way to escape from the prison, and I don't even know how that's all gonna happen, but that's my question. How are, how is Andor gonna escape? Because we know he's obviously gonna escape, but my question is, is how he's gonna escape. That's my question. But, um... But yeah, they're plotting to escape at the end. I did like the interrogation scenes between between the ISB and all that with the rebel pilot and also the fair, the, the scenes on Ferrix, the interrogation scenes. I like those. Um, what else? Um, there wasn't really much in the episode, just a lot of buildup, but which is fine because. Episode 10 is the finality of the of the three episode gap which we've been getting of Andor but we're gonna see how this all pulls out I think Andor is gonna make a successful escape by the end of the next episode and then the final two will be about who knows what it's gonna be about I'm I, I, I'm not speculating anything I'm not going into the final two episodes of Andor I'm not going into the final two episodes of Andor with any expectations. So, and you guys probably shouldn't either, but I'm not going in those last two episodes. What happens is, is what happens, and I'll do re reviews covering that stuff. But overall, there wasn't really much going on in that episode other than the prison scenes, the plotting, and the character buildup. But that's pretty much all there was in this episode and I like the interrogation scenes that shows how evil the Empire really is and all that and um, with the credits um, we're, we I think I think in the next few episodes we're gonna start seeing more and more of the rebellion um, we didn't get to see Luthen in this episode I don't did we see him I think we saw him in the last episode but we didn't get to see him in this episode um, but I think he'll be in the next episode. Um, they'll eventually convince Luthen to come back. But, because we see L Luthen in Rogue One, so it's pretty obvious. But anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. Put a like, subscribe, comment. This is my Andor Chapter 9 review. I, and another thing is, is it left me anxious to see what happens next. Oh shoot, I forgot, to, never never mind that, I forgot to talk about the, I forgot to talk about like Mon Mothma and Vale. like we did learn something from this episode that 
Vale and Mon Mothma are related. They are cousins. That is something new we learned. And we, and again, like we get to explore the rich life in Star Wars, which is also really cool. The, po the Star Wars politics, all of that stuff. Mainly Star Wars, it's like Star Wars is mimicking real life because politics is a real thing in real life. Um, politics, war, all of that stuff, like all the wars, like it's, I can tell Star Wars with all the war and everything and I can tell I picked up a lot of si inspiration from the wars we've been having in the real world, like World War One, World War II, um, the Vietnam um, we now have, well, I'm not going to get into pol I'm not going to get into real life politics in this channel, so, I don't, I, I don't do politics in this channel, but, anyways, but, but basically my point is, is that a lot of things in Star Wars is actually mimicking real life, but it's in the Star Wars universe, which is also something that I'm picking up in the Andor series, but anyways, yeah, this is my final this is my, this, this, this is, this, but yeah, yeah, but this is, this is all I gotta say, and I will catch you all in the next review video and in the next video, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all later in another, I will see you all later in another video.